What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be checking out three different professional grade plastic trim restoration products and see which one is the best of them all. Here I have three different trim restoration products. These are also supposed to restore any faded plastic trims you may have around the vehicle. And the reason I decided to compare these three specific ones is due to the fact that they're all professional grade or at least supposed to provide professional grade results. Meaning that they will not only restore faded trim and bring back that nice black color on the trim but we'll actually keep it looking like that for a long period of time anywhere from four to five months and up to a year they definitely set themselves apart when comparing it to other restoration products that you can easily find at your local retail or big box stores such as walmart or autozone those consumer-based products actually tend to be dressings they'll make your plastic look good for a moment but after a couple of days or a wash it'll completely disappear and you're back with the faded trim once again one product that is not included in today's video but i have also heard plenty of good things of is g technique c4 permanent trim restorer now with some of my own extensive research i have gathered that c4 a coating is definitely not permanent but it'll last to about a year and up to two years or so depending on your vehicle's environment and of course other similar factors one to two years is pretty darn good however i've come to notice that the product is mainly used on newer vehicles with trims that are not in bad condition c4 is really more of a protectant than a restoration product which explains why detailers use it to protect new plastic trims in order to protect it and keep it looking as good as possible for as long as possible so just keep that in mind it is ideal for new trim and helps prevent fading rather than mainly restoring fading on your exterior plastic trim. The ideal scenario is to apply a product that will restore your plastic, make it look brand new again, and do so for a long period of time without having to reapply your product oftenly. That is why I narrowed it down to these three products, which most professional detailers happen to use, whether it's one or the other. So first off, we have lithium graphene infused trim restoration cubes, and they state true graphene formula that keeps trim protected and looking new forever, or 250 washes, whichever comes first. Basically, they give their up to 250 washes and this package comes as a full kit with the actual applicators being cubes ready to be used and mentions that the cubes provided are ceramic and 9h graphene infused which is short for the hardness of the product once it cures and bonds to the surface on a scale from one through nine one being the softest and nine being the strongest it states that it is a nine this kit brings four cubes a pair of gloves and a pre-cleaner to clean the surface before going over it with the cubes it can be found online whether on the website or on amazon and retails for a price of 39.99 so 40 US dollars. Up next, we have Cerakel Ceramic Trim Coat, and they actually give their product up to 200 washes. They state that this is a durable ceramic coating that bonds to the pores of unpainted plastic trim, restoring it to its original appearance. This package also comes as a kit, although the applicators, which are also ready to use, are wipes as opposed to cubes like our first product shown. It brings eight individual extra large wipes and a pair of gloves, as well as the instructions. It retails for about $17, and you can find it on their website, on Amazon, and at your local Walmart as well, which I'll admit it's a smart business move if it performs as advertised it should blow away the competition by a lot last but not least here we have a product that really needs no introduction as it is well known in the detailing world used by many professional detailers and that is solution finish so these come either in a one ounce or a 12 ounce bottle i have here the one ounce bottle now this is advertised as a true restoration product that resorts originally black surfaces to a deep rich black finish without that wet look it also says that this is a unique formula that combines ancient ingredients with advanced polymer technology to provide a spectacular long-lasting deep protective finish it does mention it will last for months but does not give an exact or estimated number as well as how many washes it can outlast the one ounce bottle retails for $15 and the 12 ounce bottle can retail anywhere from $30 to $40 and you can easily find them almost anywhere online for the money that you pay for you will only receive the bottle of product alone so you have to separately get an applicator and a pair of gloves if desired I do want to mention that they also have a dedicated bottle for great trim so if you have a vehicle that originally had great trim and is now fading then that would be the product you'd go ahead and purchase as opposed to this one for black trims. 99% of the time, however, most cars will come with black trims, but that is just a good thing to always keep in the back of your head, especially as a detailer. Now, before we jump into the demo, notice how with Solution Finish, it did not mention or emphasize being or having ceramic protective properties. What I hear a lot of detailers do though, is they will actually apply this onto the plastic trim, and once it has cured, which is about four hours, they will top it off with a ceramic coating to really lock it in and make sure they get the very most out of it. We're gonna go ahead and also give that a try today but i do want to throw in that the company themselves designed a specific product a plastic sealant that you can also use and top this product off with regardless of all of these possible suggestions you can definitely
to use these products alone and that should last you for a good amount of time. There just couldn't be a better vehicle to try these products on as the trim on this SUV is just very oxidized, faded, and nowhere near its original black color. Now, in order to give each of these products a fair testing, we're going to go ahead and prep the plastic trim surfaces. Like with anything in detailing, proper prepping is definitely a big factor for your overall results. So you want to start off by using an APC and all-purpose cleaner. I happen to be using Coach Cami's Green Star at a 5 to 1 dilution ratio, spray it onto the plastic surfaces, and use a detailing brush to agitate the cleaner. And once you're done, you can either rinse it down or simply wipe it off with a microfiber towel. Our second and final step of the prepping process will be to use a wax, oil, and grease remover. I just happen to be using CarPro's eraser. Simply spray it on there and wipe it off to a clean and dry surface that will now be free of waxes and oils. So we cleaned it and we removed any waxes or oils that were left on there. We now have a naked trim surface, which is definitely what we want because all of our products need to properly bond onto the actual surface in order to work as they're supposed to. Now I'm simply going to go ahead and tape off this section into three different parts. Alrighty, first one up to the challenge will be lithium's graphene and fuse cubes. I have my gloves one that I came with and this one is the only one that brings a prep spray. So even though we already prepped the surface, we'll go ahead and follow the instructions provided and use it before application. So these are the trim cubes that it comes with guys. It is really just a foam sponge applicator. Let's go ahead and apply it. Once applied, I'm going to go ahead and use a microfiber towel to level it and remove any excess product. Guys, I will say it definitely was super easy to apply. A little strong in smell, but not a problem for me. The cure time for this product is 12 hours. Up next, we have the Cerakote wipes. I've changed my gloves to start over clean, so let's go ahead and apply this one on here. This one you do not want to buff out with a microfiber towel afterwards as the company states the coating will level on its own. And I'll admit it's a little tricky because you can have a little streaks here and there and be unsure if it'll stay like that or not. I'm not going to go over it with the microfiber towel so we shall see. The cure time for this product is one hour. However, I am going to go ahead and clean out the edges where it got onto the paint. Last but not least, we have Solution Finish. I've put on a different glove on and I brought out a microfiber applicator to apply it. And one thing you want to make sure to do is shake the bottle really well before pouring some of that product onto your applicator.
Once applied, guys, you want to go ahead and grab your microfiber towel and buff away any excess product. Again, with the microfiber towel, the cure time for this product is actually four hours. And if you accidentally get any of these three products onto the actual paint, simply grab a microfiber towel and clean it off. So what do you guys think? Which one looks more appealing and restored to light new condition for you? I will say all three of them were fairly easy to use and all of them seem to do a very good job. The real test will come in the durability and longevity of each of these products on the exterior plastic trim. I do believe they will all perform very good. If I had to pick one to wear off first before the others, I'd probably say solution finish just because it is a polymer formula and doesn't have ceramic properties like the other two have. So it only makes sense. Now, if we top it off with the ceramic coating, then it would be a completely different story. So you know what? Let's go ahead and experiment with that. So we are now at the back trim section of this vehicle, guys. I just went ahead and cleaned it and prepped it. So now I'm just gonna tape it off and we'll move forward from there. So what I'm gonna do from this moment forward, guys, is go ahead and apply my solution finish onto here as normal. And we're gonna let it cure for four hours. And after four hours, I'm gonna grab my ceramic coating and use it as a topper. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on top of the solution finish four hours after it is done curing, guys. So we're gonna see the difference when solution finish is topped off with the ceramic coating and when it's not topped off with the ceramic coating. Again, we're gonna go ahead and let all of these products cure at their proper cure time, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these tapes right now. And we're gonna pull out the vehicle in the sunlight and see how it looks currently. Alrighty guys, so remember I am gonna let all of these cure, but in the meantime guys, 10, 15 minutes in, uh, I can already tell that the lithium actually has a sort of zebra effect on there. Uh, the solution finish, there's some high spots here, lower spots over there. I don't know if that had to do anything with the, you know, the excess wipe off, but so far it looks like it's more product on one side and then less product on the other side. And as far as the Cerakote, in my opinion, it's doing amazing so far. It's really, really shiny. And I mean, I just don't find any flaws uh, on this section of the trim. So uh, again, this is just 10 to 15 minutes in and we'll see tomorrow and one day uh, after 24 hours, how they're all doing. So it has now been 24 hours since we applied all three of these products onto the plastic trim. They have all been cured by now. And this is how they look one day after properly installing them with only one coat. What do you guys think? Which one stand out to you? This is lithium cubes, this is Cerakote wipes, and this is solution finish.
And of course, we can't forget about our little experiment where we used solution finish first and topped it off with an actual ceramic coating. This is the ending result. Now I'm gonna rinse the surface with water and see how each product reacts. And as you can see, both the ceramic and graphene based products provide beading, whereas the non-ceramic product solution finish is not beading, but they do claim there is UV protection on there to avoid further damage to the trim. And back here on the section where we applied solution finish first and topped it off with the ceramic coating afterwards, it is definitely beading and performing just like the other two ceramic products. Definitely drop a comment down below guys and let me know which one you think did the best and would probably prefer to use. My final thoughts, I think Cerco did amazing. If you wanna apply just one coat and move on with your day, this is your go-to product. One hour curing is also a big plus since it does give a shiny look. You could tell you maybe added a dressing on there if that makes sense. And as for solution finish, it also did a pretty good job. It doesn't give that wet look like it advertises, like the Cerco does. It gives more of a matte finish. I do see that if you wanted to, you could apply a second coat on here, so that's optional. And for the lithium auto care cubes, it definitely shows a difference on there guys, except I believe it requires a second coat, just because you can see that zebra effect on there still, and it didn't fully cover it, whereas the Sura coat actually did. Out of all of these three, on this vehicle alone, on this exterior trim guys, I think Cerco did the best. Otherwise, I think solution finish topped off with the ceramic coating is no question the best possible solution for faded and oxidized exterior trim. It just looks really nice and natural as if the trim was brand new. All in all, they all seem to do a good job. And one thing you wanna keep in mind guys is that the results can vary on every single vehicle you work on, on every single plastic exterior trim that you work on. So just keep that in the back of your mind guys. And once again, it'll come down to the durability of each of these products. I believe it also comes down to preference and regardless with which one you do choose to go with you simply cannot go wrong with one or the other I will be making a follow-up video on a monthly basis So stay tuned for that and make sure you subscribe to the channel in order to be updated Also, if you haven't watched my last two videos where I finally revealed the only interior cleaner and the only all-purpose cleaner We use in our business on a daily basis. Make sure you go ahead and do so there you guys have it That's gonna be a wrap for this video. Thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did make sure you smash the like button leave a comment down below and press that subscribe button as well as hit the notification bell button to join my notification squad. Don't forget to watch another video here on the screen. As always, guys and girls, see you on the next one.